I want to mention something that's very, very mundane and yet so important. And it's indicative of how we've estranged ourselves from the whole circle of life. It's all about what Joel Salatin, who Michael referenced, calls poop. <laughs> poop. And if you live on a ranch and you live on a farm, poop is important. Anybody notice the poop out there in the, in the fields? The, the cow pies that by now have gotten you know, uh, somewhat uh, disintegrated into the soil. But they're out there. And they're out there for a reason. It's out, out there because cows belong on grass. They don't belong in a pen eating corn. And when they're out there on the grass, not only are they taking in that grass, but they're pooping on it and they're building the fields, building that grass in a beautiful way. That's the circle of life. That's the way it's meant to be. You look at the cows at Sunrise Ranch and they are happy. Those are happy cows because they're in the circle of life. We're letting them be in that. We we let them graze up on the hill back there. Did you know that cows like hills? And they like to climb around rocks and trees? We think of cows as being on a pasture or, in a, worse yet, in a pen. But they love it up there. They're meant to be free. So how about us as human beings? The EPA has just lowered its nitrogen standards for sewage treatment plants. In other words, the amount of nitrogen that can leak out got lowered. And therefore, the sewage treatment plant and the, those nice two pools over there that you, some of you may have noticed are no longer acceptable to the state who's got to follow the, the rulings of the EPA. When I heard about this several years ago, I scratched my head and I thought, you know, as, as farmers, we're interested in nitrogen in the soil. What's going on? What, what's wrong with nitrogen being in the soil? Well, the answer is, we're out of the circle of life. And we don't know what to do with our poop. <laughs> it comes down to that. We're that out of it. So we try to take something that's meant for the benefit of creation, our poop, and we try to disinfect it. We try to sanitize it and then find a place to put it. We try to eliminate the negative impact of our poop instead of realizing that it's supposed to be a, a very positive thing. But we're, we've so lost track of our role in creation that we can't figure that out. Every step we take in life has to be filled with the boldness of acting on that big want within ourselves, that big life compulsion, that big creative compulsion. It turns out that the step into creatorship and, and our step into the circle of life begins with the greatest humility being brought to our knees. So appreciated Julia's telling of that moment. It can be a crushing moment that brings us to our knees when we, when we see something like that, however it comes to us. But even though we get brought to our knees in, in such a moment, we're being called to something great in this world and beautiful, ultimately to be the creator that's at the heart of all creation, to be that ourselves. That's our role as human beings. And if you look at every tradition around the world, at the heart of it, it's saying there's a special place for us as humanity. We have to take our place in humility. And when we play that special part that we have to play as a creator in this world, consciously, not unconsciously, not, well, I don't know where those toilets you know, go. I don't know where all the poop goes. Right? That's unconsciousness. But taking responsibility for our creatorship Things change. 